So welcome to the first Black Book session here, little bite-sized lessons in sound and music production stuff. So based on my lecturing at Point Blank, I'm going to be scribbling stuff down and we're going to start off in the Black Book with the concept of sound. So let me just open this up, I'm just going to flip it around and let's take a look. So sound, I'm going to put the heading up here. I'm speaking, there's air coming out of my mouth, so we've got sound waves okay so if we do a little diagram here sound radiating outwards and this can be translated into a recording so if we use analog tape we get a nice smooth recording positive and negative side of the waveform and it goes up and down like this so sound in terms of the volume is represented on the vertical scale here that is on the zero point is silence Sound radiates upwards on the positive side and then down on the negative side. So that represents the volume. Horizontal is time. Okay, so volume, volume, time. So let's take a look at a sound wave. Let's look at the basic form of sound wave, which is a sine wave. So I'll generate one for you in a second. Let's go to the next page. So, sine, basic waveform. So this is really simple. It's a great one for sub bass and real subtle sounds. And so this, the way it looks, if I was to draw it, is like this. So we got smooth plus and minus. Real simple sound. I'm gonna generate a sine wave for you now. I've got the tone generator in Logic already, and I'm gonna take the bypass off, we're gonna hear it. It's a 1K sine wave, so 1000 hertz per second, okay? When I say 1000 hertz per second, it's actually 1000 cycles per second, so hertz is the measurement, all right? So, here is a cycle. So 1000 of those per second, Okay, that's how we actually measure the frequency of a sound. So frequency is measured in hertz. So that's H and a small z, which is cycles per second. So set cycles per second, we've got 1,000 here. I'm gonna take it lower, all right? So as human beings, we can hear from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. That's a really wide range. So I'm gonna take this down, here we go. I don't know how good your speakers or headphones are. It's gonna determine whether or not you can hear this. But I've got here, let me take this to high resolution so we can see in more detail on the spectrum analyzers. It, it represents 20 hertz on the left side, 20 kilohertz on the right side. So we're gonna go from 20 hertz upwards. Now I can only just start hearing that around here. So it depends on how good the frequency response of your speakers or headphones is. We're coming up, sine wave, higher. Now I don't know about you, but when I'm listening to that, I think, yeah, that's high in pitch. But I told you we can go up to 20K, we're only nearly at five. So the first thing to learn is that a lot of the musical stuff that we deal with is in the first 8,000 or so. The rest of this stuff is all this extra information that goes up to making the character in a sound. So let's bring it down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to 440, a little bit of a magic number, okay? So this is a tone you may recognize. So 440 hertz. Hertz. This is a musical note, okay? So it's A3. So behind every musical note is a frequency. A really important thing to know. And the other important thing to know is the relationship between the frequency and the octaves. So octaves is 12 semitones on the keyboard. If you want to go up an octave, you double. So if you want to go up an octave, you double. 
any of my students from the past will recognize the real scruffy writing here. So you double the frequency. So we've got 440 times two equals 880, which equals A4. Okay, so here we go. A4, 880, 12 semitones higher. All right, so that's what's going on. So if you wanna basically go down an octave, we divided by two. So where were we? 440, let's go 220. So that's another one down. Okay, so let me just mute that for the moment. So that's the first important lesson, okay? So if you want to go down, you halve the frequency. Man, that's messy. But uh, you know, this is how it is. I'm gonna to try to be neater on the next one. So that's the first lesson. I told you it was little bite-sized chunks. And uh, we can look at some other things related to sound.